Welcome to English class. English class? You're going to say, why English class? Well, we're going to teach you some definitions of words and let you realize that in mathematics, we really do want to relate life in a mathematical way. So in these functions that we've been talking about or relationships that we've been talking about, we usually are relating to things that actually occur in real life. And usually one of those numbers or variables depends on the other. And there's really no better way to explain this than just to start to dive in and understand what we're doing. So it says, during the winter, a trucking company ships produce from California to New York. The number of truckers the company hires will depend on the amount of produce it needs to ship, which makes sense. If they only have a little bit of produce to ship, Will they need very many trucks to ship it? No, but if they have a lot of produce to ship, they'll need more truckers. So the first thing we need to realize is that in real life, when we relate math to it, we try to use a letter that represents what we're talking about. Since we're talking about the number of truckers, they use T to represent the number of truckers. Since we're also talking about the amount of produce we're shipping, we use P to represent the produce. So then the question is asking this, is P the independent variable and T the dependent variable? Now let's this understand what independent and dependent mean. Think of yourself as being dependent upon your parents. You depend on your parents to feed you, clothe you, pay for your schooling, or whatever else that needs to come along. Your parents don't depend on you. Your parents have become independent. They're independent. They live on their own. They make their own money. No one has to provide for them. They're independent. So the same thing here is we're saying, all right, well, the amount of produce that ships is the independent variable. The, they just, the, the, uh, the trucking companies just get a whole bunch of produce they need to ship. They have no control over how much produce they get. But then we need to know how many truckers we need to send it. So P is the independent, produce is the independent, and T is the dependent. The number of truckers doesn't determine how much produce. So this one is not the correct one. And again, the first time you walk through this, that might sound kind of confusing. And you're probably, I'm, I'm so confused, Mr. Thorson. But again, let's walk through this again and try to read the problem and say which depends on which. For Boyer, Mr. Boyer, I mean, is getting history textbooks for his class from a school storeroom. The number of students in the classroom will determine the number of books, right? If he only has three people in the classroom or three students, is he going to need 30 books or three books? So S now here represents the number of students, which he has no control over. And then he as a teacher has control over the number of textbooks. T represents textbooks. So is T the independent? No, because the number of textbooks doesn't determine the number of students. The number of students, which is the independent, determines, and T is the dependent. T depends on the number of students. So it's going to be this bottom one. I'm going to jump ahead just so we see if, if it gets much harder, except it didn't jump ahead. Jump ahead. There we go. Oh, we'll jump all the way up to 90. So again, everyone will be very similar to this. Kara is selling lemonade. The number of cups of lemonade she sells will determine how much money she earns. Well, that actually makes sense, right? If she only sells one glass of lemonade, she's not going to make much money. But if she sells a bunch of lemonade, many glasses, she'll make more money. So now what's the independent variable? Well, C is the number of cups of lemonade sells. That's the independent. She really has no control. It all depends on if someone comes up and buys. The amount of money Kara earns depends on how many she sells. So which variable is the independent? So again, C is the independent because she has no control over how many cups she sells. It depends on if someone comes up and buys. What determines the amount of money is how many she sells. So C is the independent. Practice, practice, practice. I could do these all day, but I think you just need to start practicing. And please, if you get one wrong, stop 
and look at why you got it wrong. Read the explanation. IXL is very good at doing that. If you have questions, please do bring them to class.